Town, miss. I'm afraid Brad won't give me anything in return, which will make me look completely dorky. Because even though I know he's my boyfriend, I'm not so sure he does. Well, Beth, once Brad accepts your present, it's a done deal. He's officially yours. And if he doesn't? Trust me, he will. And that'll make him your boyfriend, whether he likes it or not. Well, I guess it's better to have a boyfriend that doesn't know he's your boyfriend than no boyfriend at all. <sighs> Sorry, Holly. It's okay. Listening to you two makes me glad I don't have one. Oh, my God. It's Philip. He's right over there. He's probably just buying me a Christmas present. I hope he gets me something cool. I mean, nothing can happen. Come on. Come on. Tell me what you want to do. Let's follow him. Come on. Come on. Need some help? I want to see Santa, but... But you're a little nervous, right? Don't blame you. I just can't seem to get her up there. Bye-bye. Maybe I can help. What's your name? Darcy. Well, Darcy, maybe I could come along, if that's okay. Sure, I'll just wait here. Hello. Hi. I was wondering when you were going to come to see me. Come on up here. Come on. And tell me what I can bring you for Christmas. <laughs> Is that your brother? Well, why don't you just run on back to him? I can pretty well guarantee you'll get what you asked for. Thank you, Santa. Sure. Thank you so much. So, what did she ask for? Oh, I can't tell you. That Santa client privilege. And what about you? What would you like for Christmas? I'm good. I wish the whole world could say that. Thanks. Surely there must be something that uh, I can get you. I'm too old for toys. It's okay. You don't have to be a child to believe. I'd like... I'd like a boyfriend for Christmas. Are you sure you're ready for a boyfriend? I don't know. I, I think so. Well, when you're really ready, Holly, you'll know. And I promise you that I will send you just the right one. Go. I'm going to leave you something very special under the tree. Okay. Merry Christmas, my dear. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. A promised gift will come, my dear. A love that's true and steady. Between now and the end of the 20th year, when two hearts are ready. Santa's sleigh, are we, Miss Grant? 
Yes, Your Honor. No, I, I mean, no. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor. You know that the court is closing at noon today for the holidays. I do. And you're here on behalf of whom? I'm representing the interests of Thomas and Rebecca Denning. And you support the mother, Sheila Denning's, petition to have her children removed from foster care and return to her custody? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Denning has moved out of the shelter, is now employed, and has secured adequate housing requested by the court. Who is your legal counsel, Ms. Denning? Ryan Hughes, Your Honor. He was assigned to help me. Where is Mr. Hughes? We don't know. He was supposed to be here. Well, I'm afraid without your lawyer present, I cannot make a ruling. Your Honor, Ms. Denning was hoping to have the children home for Christmas. <sighs> All right. I suppose we can give Mr. Hughes a few more minutes. This is the season of giving, after all. I mean, really. I've offered these people all I can. It's not just about the money. Not to the tenants, it's not. Mr. Rhodes here cannot tear down the buildings until the tenants are out. Now, cut to the chase, Hughes. How can we move them? The different kind of incentive? Such as? So low-income families. In fact, I'm dealing with one of them right now in a pro bono case, a woman named Sheila Denning. She lives in your building. Bottom she, line, she, Ryan. What we have to do is assure these people that they're going to be able to move back in after reconstruction. And when they do, there'll be a park for the elderly, daycare center, uh, maybe a community center. Sell the idea like an investment in their future. Exactly. Because in essence, what you're doing is you're offering them a chance for a better life. We could redraw the plans, I suppose, but it will still be profitable. In the long run, Mr. Rhodes, the increased cost would be negligible against potential profits, believe me. Parker, you've been dealing with the tenants' committee. You think they'll buy Hughes' idea? Well, sir, yes, I, I think they will. The tenants cooperate? You boys make it your name on the letterhead sooner than you think. Oh, my God. I mean, he should be ashamed of himself. You're still his client. Just because Mr. Hughes isn't getting paid doesn't mean that he can blow you off. I and mean, there is something called integrity. Miss Denning. Yes, Your Honor? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't wait any longer. I'm going to have to postpone the hearing. Your Honor, please. We'll address the petition in the new year. Sheila Denning's kids back to foster care. What? What happened? You know a guy named Ryan Hughes? No. Me neither. He and I are about to get acquainted. Teresa, could I send a, a nasty yet formal letter, please? This came for you. I mean, what sort of guy doesn't even bother to show up in court to prevent a family from being together over Christmas? I mean, what is that? Ugh. What is that? Using both my psychic powers and the return address. I'd say it's from the grant committee. <gasps> oh, my God. But you did go for the grant. For money to hire a full-time lawyer. They're never going to give us the money. Hey, no more court appointed. I could be making 500 an hour if I wasn't stuck doing this, lawyers. <gasps> They're giving us the money! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, you two got to save your celebrating because you're already late. For what? Lunch with your mother. Oh, I'm too frazzled after this morning to be with my mother. Come on. 
She's still pestering you about not being married. Oh, here's the thing with my mother. Yeah, as far as my mother's concerned, you might as well be dead if you're not married. And my sister-in-law just adds fuel to the fire. Oh, they just want you to be happy. Yeah, they want me to be them. One husband, two cars, two kids. Hey, I am one of them, too. I have twins, remember? Not you. Plus, you have a great guy in your life, which I don't. And whose fault is that? I wonder. The last thing I need to feel fulfilled is a boyfriend. Plus, I learned a long time ago not to rely on Santa to leave Mr. Wright in my Christmas stocking. Mm -hmm. So, chocolate chip or peanut butter? Chocolate chip. Both. 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 Make a decision. Both. No, you should go for it. it. Two yeah. Holly. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to her. The kids we represent are going to have a staff lawyer to advise them instead of a volunteer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Huh? That's wonderful. <laughs> It's wonderful if we can find a decent attorney willing to work for peanuts. Well, you should talk to Diane about that. I think she's managed to date just about every lawyer in town, right? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> These days are over. Now that Stu and I are official. <laughs> I know you can't wait, so come on, let's see it. Am I going to need sunglasses? You decide. Does anyone have a crane to help me with oh. this? Ah! Oh. Wow. You wow. get carpal tunnel with that thing. Good girl. Really? Okay, it's my turn. To Diane and Holly. Next year, may Holly get the ring and Diane get the grant. Mom, what kind of toast is that? An honest one. It's my Christmas wish. Cheers. To your Christmas wish. Cheers. Cheers. And I have just the news to make your Christmas wish come true. I'm at the edge of my seat. You should be. It's big news. Uh-oh. I've heard this one before. No more blind dates. No? No? Ted is back in town. What? Yes, Ian ran into him this morning. I hope it was with his car. Ooh, you're not getting older. You're getting bitter. I love it. It was at work. Ted is Ian's new boss. He moved back to town because he's been named managing editor of the Banner Chronicle. I wonder if his father being publisher had anything to do with it. <laughs> He's still single, and he wondered if Holly was, too. Oh, that's fantastic! Mom, Mom, before you start naming our children, I've neither seen nor heard from Ted in two years. But you loved him. I dumped him. It's over. A man with a wandering eye cannot be trusted. Here, here. Mm hmm Okay, fine. Enough with the Ted subject. Great. For now. Let's order. Ted doesn't grow on trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have tails and swing from them. <laughs> Holly, relationships take work. And they also take two people. And since I'm not interested, that leaves Ted one person short of a couple. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hughes. It's Denny. I just had to come by and apologize to you again for what happened today at the hearing. I can't really talk right now. I promised Nick, he's the old guy who plays Santa at the shelter, that I would help sell Christmas trees. Well, my firm was able to speak with Judge Edwards. And? Can't tell you. Ashley, let me let somebody else tell you. One minute. Presents. Holly gave them to us. Oh, well, how nice of her. Oh, I, I know you've already done so much for us, Mr. Hughes. No, I know where the shelter is. Let me take care of Santa. Stay with your family. Thank you. We're all together again. I couldn't ask for a better Christmas present. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. worse than a dating service. Welcome to my world. They don't understand how I could choose my career over having a family. Gosh, look what time it is. I still have to get home and pack. Christmas in Tahoe. What could be more romantic? I know, it's tough being fabulous. <laughs> oh, good, here comes my cab. Holly, I keep meaning to tell you, I got you a little something. It should be delivered today. That's so sweet, what is it? All I can say is it's gonna make your Christmas. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 
You know what? I promised to pick up a Christmas tree for our office party. You want to come join me? Oh, will you drop me off first? I got to get a letter off to that Hughes guy before I cool down. You can have your tirade over the phone while I get the tree. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a little Christmas spirit. <laughs> All right? All right, I'll try. All righty. OK. You know my name. I met you a couple of weeks ago at the shelter office. You're with Sheila, I think. I understand she's found a place of her own. Actually, that's why I'm here. She's um, not going to be able to help you sell trees tonight. Oh, that's too bad. She's at home with her kids. Really? Yeah. She was able to get them back. Oh, that's great. But we're short-handed. You know, it's just before Christmas, you know. Busy time for me. <laughs> I guess so, huh, Santa? I don't suppose you'd be willing to fill in for her, would you? me. No, no, I'm afraid it. What's with the stick thing? It's, they're all like seven feet. I mean, pick one already. As you were saying? Well, I guess I can sell a tree or two. It's for a good cause, right? Right. Come on, we've seen every tree twice. It has to be perfect. In a week, it's going to be perfect mulch. Make your phone call. I'm just going to take one more spin around. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Can I help you uh, find a tree? We've got miles and miles of beautiful trees. No, thanks. Um, I'm with my friend. Well, I guess you have one already then, huh? No, uh, I'm not really into the whole holiday thing. What a coincidence. Me neither. I can tell. What? This is my natural look. Yeah, so you dress up like Santa Claus to pick up women? Usually works. I'm sorry, I'm not really into Christmas. No, that's too bad. It could be a magical time of year. Will you excuse me? Hey. Hi, Teresa. I was just going to call you. Yeah, I want to get a letter off to that Hughes guy. Yeah, his name is Ryan Hughes. He's with Winslow, Summers, and Lane. Um, OK, you ready? Dear Mr. Hughes, you're not showing up at Sheila Denning's custody hearing was an inconceivable breach of trust. Your callous disregard for people counting on you is shameful. It is the holiday season, and it is completely unforgivable that your actions have prevented a family from being together. If pro bono work is meant to polish the greedy image of firms like yours, well, then you have failed, at least with me. Truly yours, Holly Grant. Yes, of course I want you to send it. Well, you know, I don't think that this, this Hughes guy is really going to care. He probably doesn't even have a conscience. <sighs> oh, excuse me. You work here, right? Could kind you, of. Can you give me a help, please? <laughs> oh, thank you. You got it. All right. Where are you? My car's right here. Merry Christmas. Oh, I, I told the other guy I don't need a tree. I know, I overheard. You're not into Christmas. Correct. That's disappointing. Excuse me? Well, I've never failed, you see. Break my heart if I did. I don't understand. Well, there's still time, my dear. Perhaps you will. You know, I couldn't help overhearing your friend on the phone in there. She sounded really upset. Uh, she's just venting. I mean, Holly is compelled to stand up for people who are struggling. I mean, she can't help herself. She's a real angel, huh? Well, Holly believes in people, not miracles. At least that's what she says. Thanks. What's this? It's for the tree. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'll make sure Santa gets it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm collecting for the shelter. If you would like to help? Sure. Uh, thank you. 
What can I get for you in return? Get me something? Well, I am Santa Claus. Oh, right, of course. Uh, I don't need anything. I'm good. I wish the whole world could say that. Let me know if something comes to mind. Sure. I will. Good. Still not moved by the Christmas spirit, I see. Not for some time, no. Hello, Ted. And they moved you up to the uh, corner office, I see. I know you think that non-profit equals nonsense. Uh, whoa, come on, I didn't come up here to pick a fight. Well, why exactly did you come? Well, one of Santa's elves told me that you might need a date for a certain New Year's Eve party. Would that be the elf in Prada Pumps or the elf whose husband writes a column for you with the paper? Oh, it was great to see your sister-in-law again, and you did hear about my new job. I did. And you didn't call to congratulate me. I didn't. Look, Hall, I know it's been a little while, and, you know, we didn't leave in another best service. We didn't leave. You did. And you didn't follow me. Not without a commitment. Now, we both know you have a problem in that arena. Had a problem. Not anymore. All grown up, are we? I guess one woman is enough for you now, huh? Well, more grown up, anyway. <laughs> Listen, all kidding aside, I love you, and I want you to let me prove that to you. I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Especially not a recycled one. Well, listen, we can get together and talk over the holidays. Okay? We'll see. All right, that's all I need for now. I'll call. Oh! Uh, hey, Beth. Ted? Still bathing in cologne, I smell. <laughs> Let's see the decoration. <laughs> Would you all forget about Ted? This has been a great year, and we have helped a lot of kids. I know. And with this grand coming, we have a big year ahead of us. Yes, we do. And it's all because of you. You have done really, really well. Mm, so why does something seem to be missing? There's something about the holidays. Just, uh, just gets to me. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Sheila said she was gonna volunteer at the shelter, and I thought I'd drop by and see how she's doing. Will you want some company? No, no, no. You deck the halls without me. Right. Okay. Merry Christmas. Right back at you. Have fun. Yeah, you too. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got cookies and donuts. You guys, you guys already had some. Yeah. Hey, cookies and donuts. Anybody, you want some sugar? There you go. Merry Christmas. There you are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nice of you to stay around and help, Brian. This is the best Christmas that I've had in years. Well, how is that possible? And that's what you get when you try and make partner in a big law firm, Santa. Yeah, but does it make you happy? Brian! Could you give me a hand in here? Yes, yeah, sure, no problem. Go ahead. I can handle this end of things. I bet you can.
What's your name? Davy. Tell me again what you like. There you are. Merry Christmas. There you go. Well, hello. Hi. I stopped by to see Sheila Denning. I thought she was working tonight. Sheila is home with her children. Really? She was able to get them back. When did this happen? Just a little while ago. Judge found it in his heart to change his decision. People tend to do these sort of things around this time of year. I can't believe it. <sighs> so, did something come to mind? What? You were going to let me know if something you needed came to mind. You can talk to me, Holly. Santa client privilege. Remember? Have you and I had this conversation before? Back when you still believed, you mean. What made you give up on Christmas, my dear? You did. I? You promised you'd send me... just the right boyfriend. But you never did. You never sent me one that was right for me. I think I better go. As I mentioned before, this is an exceptionally busy night for me. I wonder, Ryan, if I might prevail upon you to help me fulfill a very old promise. Go away. Oh. Who is it? Who is it? Merry Christmas. Delivery for Holly Grant. What's this all about? A special delivery from Santa Claus. Santa? Who are you and what are you doing in my living room? Read the card. As promised, one boyfriend for Christmas, Santa. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You're Holly Grant, right? Yes. Then I'm not kidding. You look familiar. What's your name? My name? 
My name's uh, Doug. Less <clears throat> Doug, actually. Doug who? Doug uh, Fur Wood. Doug Furwood. Wait, wait. <laughs> you stay right there. You. <laughs> Who are you really? <laughs> I told you, and honestly, Santa did send me. Santa sends dolls and, and train sets, not people. No, now, if Santa makes a promise, he keeps it no matter what, otherwise people would stop believing in him, right? Right. Do you want breakfast? Breakfast? I brought groceries. Are you some sort of serial killer? With a red bow on my chest? Look, let me whip something up. And we'll talk about it while we eat. I am kind of hungry. I didn't have dinner last night. Plus, I didn't hear anything on the news about a Christmas bow killer. Should I start cooking? I guess. Wait a minute. Diane, of course. Who? Diane told me that she was going to send me something that would make my Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? <clears throat> well... I don't know. What do, what do you usually do with your boyfriends? I'm a little out of practice. I haven't had a boyfriend in a while. Uh, I know the feeling. You haven't had a boyfriend? No, I mean, I haven't had a girlfriend. So where did Diane find you, anyway? You mean Santa? Oh, right, Santa. Where did Santa find you? Some casting service? Oh, come on. The old guy's more creative than that. Oh, right, of course. The boyfriend factory in the North Pole. No, actually, it was a local facility. Pots and pants? Hold on one second. Oh, one second. Yeah. Just, just a minute, sweetie. Mommy's gonna help you. One second. Hello? Hey, Matt. Hey, Holly. You sound very chipper this morning. You won't believe what Diane got me for Christmas. You've got to come over and see him. Holly, my kids have been up since dawn. Santa gave them new skates, and they insisted on trying them out this morning. And then I'm meeting my parents in an hour. And... See who? The tree is almost decorated, madam. Diane gave you a man for Christmas? Where was she when I was single? After he cooked me breakfast, he decorated the Christmas tree. A tree? You never have a tree! He brought it with him, part of the package, I guess. It is so amazing what you can order online. So, I mean, do you have him for the whole day, or what? I don't know. Are you sticking around all day? It's up to you. It's up to me. Well, what about, what about your parents? Well, what about them? Well, aren't you spending Christmas with them? Wait a minute. Holly, what are you thinking? My family is always on me to be with someone. This Christmas, I am. Holly! I'll talk to you later. Santa had a liberal return policy. Martin, mm -hmm. have I got this stuffing right? Try that. Tell me what you think. Um, Sam and Phillips pitches to Johnson. He's trying you should have hired a caterer. Oh. <laughs> Honey, you look beautiful. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's late. I'm going to call Holly. Oh, you know, maybe she's bringing Ted. Honey, did you talk to him? Uh, yeah, he said he stopped in to see her. And? Uh, he said she was a bit frosty. Sweetie, you need to talk to her. Uh, I mean, Holly's love life is none of my business. Yeah, but your job is your business. What's that supposed to mean? Ian, think about it. If Ted married Holly, I'm sure that he has no problem at all helping his brother-in-law get his column nationally syndicated. But why don't you all just leave Holly alone? She's fine. And Holly's here, and she's with some guy. Oh, she did bring Ted. Ian is your brother. Carol is his wife. And it's uh, Neil and Noah. Yeah. 
hope I can remember everything. I feel like I'm cramming for an exam. Wait, wh when did we meet? How long have we been dating? Ted, I'm so glad you could... You're not Ted. Hello, Carol. Hi. Uh, where's Ted? Oh, nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you. Yeah. Where's Ted? Oh, no, it's better get festive here. Grandpa yeah. set this up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hey. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to you. Um, I'd like you to meet Doug Furwood. Doug Furwood. Doug Furwood. <laughs> My boyfriend. I've heard so much about all of you. I, I feel like I know you already. Mr. Grant, it is, it's an honor to meet you. <laughs> Boyfriend, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Grant, you're even lovelier than Holly said. Merry Christmas. Well, uh, thank you. And this guy over here has got to be Ian. Yep. All right? Holly's brother. Merry all right. Christmas. And to you, uh, Doug? Doug, yeah. Uh, that's my wife, Carol. Let me answer the door. Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Good. Carol, that is a knockout dress. Oh, huh. Thank you. But somebody noticed. <laughs> uh, I need to change. <laughs> it's for the New Year's party. Yeah, every year, the list of invitees just grows and grows and grows. Of course, we have to get through Christmas first, don't we? Noah and Neil. All right? You know anything about racing sets? Uh, it just so happens that I do. We could use some help with ours. All right, boys, <laughs> be gentle with him. Don't rip his pockets off. Guys, he well, just I guess got here. Uh, nice meeting you all. I'll <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Turkey, where have you been hiding that boy? Dad, shouldn't you be watching television? I mean, won't you be going through withdrawals or something? No, football can wait. What's the deal with a boyfriend? Yeah, who is he? Yeah, you didn't say anything about him yesterday. I wanted to surprise you. How long have you been seeing him? Where's he from? What's he do for a living? One question at a time. What, what does he do? Uh, he's, uh... Don't you know? Of, of course I do. He's, he's a firefighter. Huh. A firefighter? A firefighter, that's right. He's a really sweet guy. Uh, Mom, shouldn't we be getting this in the oven? Otherwise, we're not going to eat till midnight. I got a receipt set to work. Yeah, these kids just had their wires crossed. <clears throat> What's going on? Do you want to taste my, my mom's stuffing? Yeah, I'd love to. No, 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 stop him before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. It's, it's very good, Mrs. Really? Grant. Really? Yeah. Really good. Could you use a little paprika, though? Or maybe a little, um, cumin? I've never thought of cumin. Probably how they do it down at the firehouse, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, tell us about your work. Oh, my work's not that interesting. Oh, sure it is. You should be proud of yourself, son. You think so? Yeah, you're part of a very heroic profession. You know what? Not a lot of people feel that way about lawyers. <laughs> well, I was talking about firefighters. Holly told us that you were a firefighter. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. I, I, I know I wasn't supposed to tell them. Tell them what? That Doug is a lawyer and a firefighter. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Wow. Those attorneys work long hours. How do you manage a second career as a firefighter? Well, I mean, I only uh, fight fires part-time. Uh, oh, volunteer firefighter. 
Exactly. The best. <laughs> there you go. I didn't know you could be a fireman part-time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Well, we're, we're a rare breed. Medium rare, if we're, <laughs> if we're not careful. <laughs> well done. Can I be excused? I want to show Doug my new fire truck. May I be excused? May I? You may, then. We'll call you for pie. Doug, I can't thank you enough for your expertise in the kitchen. Oh, are you kidding me? I hung out with Martin and watched football like uh, two bums today. You did a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. Wonderful job. It was incredible. Well, it was fun to watch with somebody that actually enjoys the game. My son here, the financial wizard, thinks it's just, you know, a bunch of fat guys running around. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, Holly's the jock in the family. Oh, yeah. A beautiful figure skater. Dad. Oh, well, you came in second in the state finals. When I was 12. You never told me you skated. The tights and sequins have lost their allure. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, yeah, you used to um, skate with Ted. That was a long time ago. Uh, Doug, you know Ted Powell, right? Uh, no. No, I can't say that I do. He's the new editor at the Banner Chronicle. And the only man Holly's ever loved. The only man so far. If my dad had caught us up here when we were 15, he'd probably still be incarcerated. <laughs> Let's not take any chances. Keep both feet on the floor and leave that door open. He wasn't kidding. Look at all these skating trophies. Oh, my God. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. A promised gift will come, my dear, a love that's true and steady between now and the end of the 20th year when two hearts are ready. What's that mean? No idea. Nice hair. <laughs> I loved my hairspray. <laughs> I guess so. So what's a hotshot lawyer doing taking time off and spending Christmas with a stranger and her family? A hotshot? You drive a BMW, and you're avoiding my question. Well, the first thing they teach you in law school is to avoid all direct questions. So who's Ted? All right. I'll tell you about Ted if you tell me about you. That's a deal. Uh, I met Ted about four years ago. We dated for two, and then broke up. And that's it? That's all you're gonna tell me? Yep. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why'd you break up? Commitment issues. Yours or his? Ted's father sent him to work on one of the small papers they published to cut his teeth as an editor. And, uh, you weren't invited to go? No, I was invited. To leave my work, my friends and family, to tag along. But not as Mrs. Ted. That wasn't the worst of it, though. What hurt the most was his lying to me. I mean, he knew about the job for weeks before he told me. I also think there was someone else, but I could never really prove it. I mean, I can forgive almost anything, but not dishonesty. <laughs> if he, uh, if he told you the truth, would, would you have gone with him? I don't know. Well, it's his loss and, and my good fortune. I guess. <laughs> Desserts on the table. Right. seem to like you, though. I'll tell you what, Carol didn't like me too much. Don't mind her. You impressed me. And you're kind of like a jack of all trades. You can cook, you know your football, you're a great racing set repair man. <laughs> well, Santa wouldn't send just anyone.
You know, it's, um, it's still Christmas. You're still on the clock. You want to build me a fire? See if you uh, turn into a toy soldier at midnight. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Doug? Where'd you go? I woke up and you were here and I was wondering what Ted? Oh, nice bed here. Brings back fond memories. Wow. Look at that tree. I didn't know you did Christmas. Look. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bust in here like this, but I, I couldn't sleep thinking about us. There's you, and there's me. There, there is no us. No, that's what I want to change. Listen, I, I, I know I made a horrible mistake uh, handling things the way I did before I left. I, I, well, I should have been more upfront with you, and I wasn't. I acted like a complete jerk. I would have to agree. But I've changed. I realized how much time I've wasted and how much I miss you being part of my life. Why should I believe a single word you say? You should. Not until I show you I mean every word. I bought croissants. Not enough for three. That's all right, you can just leave me here. Doug, you, d you don't understand. No, no, no. No, it's completely fine. Christmas was yesterday, right? On me. Hey, did you get chocolate? I'll make you some coffee. Let me get this straight. A stranger shows up at your house dressed as a present from Santa. He makes you breakfast. He charms your family, spends the night, batters your ex-boyfriend with a bag of donuts, then disappears. Was that it? Yeah, croissants. Not donuts, and he threw them at him. There's just something about him, though. Are you serious? I don't know. You know, I was way past the whole perfect boyfriend fantasy, and then Santa stepped in. And then Ted came back. Yeah, and now I'm more messed up than ever. Santa, huh? It's crazy, I know. Especially coming from you. We are calling Diane. Hello. Diane, ask her if she sent the guy or not. Hi. Holly. How are you? Terrible. What's wrong? 
Well, yeah, you know, I wanted to go to the islands for the holidays, but Stu insisted on a ski trip. Turns out it's the warmest winter in 50 years. I'm sorry to hear that. Not as sorry as Stu. Hey, did you get my gift? Oh, that's why I'm calling. Um, I need his phone number. Whose number? Doug's. Doug who? Doug Furwood. Stu, do you know Doug Furwood? Never heard of him. You've never heard of him? I mean, what do you mean, you didn't send him? Uh, no, I sent you a very expensive bottle of cognac. <laughs> she sent me the booze. That's why you said it would make my Christmas. I mean, hello, I know you hate Christmas, so I thought a nice, expensive bottle of booze would get you through. Are you gonna play or talk? I'm gonna do whatever I darn well please, considering that you're the idiot. Hey, Hall, can I call you right back? King me! All right, so if Diane did not send the guy, who did? Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Use my hero. I'm busy right now, Parker. Oh, too busy to hear about how the tenants' meeting went? They bit. Final votes tonight. But if it swings the way I think it will, you, my genius friend, and I can print up some new business cards. <laughs> Winslow, Summers, and Lane. Uh, Ryan Hughes, partner. <laughs> a nice little ring to it, don't you think? Bye. I didn't work out with Holly. Uh, great, until the real boyfriend showed up. Boyfriend? Are you sure? Supposedly they broke up, but by the way he kissed her, you never would have known it. Oh, there must be some explanation. <sighs> Frankly, I'm not interested. Not interested? Nope. I came down here to talk to you about something else. Oh? My firm won't let me take on any new pro bono work. So I thought on my own time I might... You want to volunteer? I'm sure the center director would be delighted. I know he's here. Why don't you go inside and have a chat with him? Okay. Thanks. I'm sure Holly would be delighted, too. I don't think Holly would care one way or the other. You're wrong about that. Hello, Holly. I wasn't sure if he'd still be here. Just tying up some loose ends. It's been 20 years since I found this under my Christmas tree. <laughs> Little late for an exchange. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Did you? Did I what? Yesterday. Did, did you happen to send me a love that's true and steady? Well, only you can answer that, my dear. But I can tell you this. Souls meant to be together, cross paths. When, as the verse says, two hearts are ready. But if you fail to recognize the magic of that moment, it will pass. I'm afraid I may have already missed the moment. Don't give up yet. The 20th year has three more days. Did you see the director? Yeah, he said he's going to make me a list. What are, what are you, you doing? doing here? You first. Uh, he came to see me. I mean, he's going to uh, volunteer at the shelter. Really? Yeah. Your turn. I, uh, I came to see Santa, too. To um, ask him if my Christmas boyfriend's expiration date could be extended. And to thank Santa for keeping his promise. Even if it was only for the day, the boyfriend you sent seemed absolutely perfect. I think if I uh, spoke to my legal department, they'd find that the warranty is actually good until the first of the year. And after that? Well, what about Ted? It wasn't what it seemed. Ted and I are completely over. Well, if you put it that way, and you're absolutely sure, I think you might want to 
consider extending the warranty? I had up my loose head. <laughs> I never knew this place existed. My dad used to bring the whole family up here to watch fireworks on the 4th of July. He must be proud of you, following in his footsteps and all. Oh, I hope so. Both he and my mother passed away while I was in law school. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I think that's when I first started letting work become more important than Christmas. Until this year. Until this year. Do you have any brothers and sisters? One sister. Darcy. Darcy? That name sounds familiar. You close? We talk. She lives overseas with her husband. You know, it's been really nice spending time with you and your family. It's been a long time since I've had that. <laughs> Good, the chairs. Are your feet clean? Good. This way. Joanna? Oh, Holly, honey, where's your mom? She's out back. She's in planning mode. Watch out. Oh, boy. How come Doug's not here? You like him, Dad? Yeah, sure. He said he might come by later. Oh. Um, I invited Ted to, uh, to come over. Well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to uninvite. Ted. I, I can't. I mean, well, I didn't just invite him for your benefit. He's, he's Ian's boss, and I think it's important that they bond. Well, great. Let them bond. And you tell me when Doug gets here. Honey? You're the lawyer, right? <laughs> Remind me, I owe you for the croissants. <laughs> That's right, you're the uh, ex-boyfriend. Not for long. I have Holly's family on my side. They love me. <laughs> hey, Doug, How you good doing? to see you. Hello, Dad. Come on in. Go to the kitchen, help Holly, okay? Ted, you and Carol, come with me. Oh, but, but I... No buts. We've got a lot of work to do. Come with me. Hey, hey. Hey. I'm glad you're here. I've missed you. You missed me? How can you miss me? We practically spent every waking hour of the past three days together. I just do. Oh, I should warn you. Carol invited Ted to come over. Oh, uh, it's too late. I already ran into him out front. No, it's okay. We had a, uh, friendly chat. Really? Actually, no. Where is he? Your mother put him to work. What's going on? Your mother seems possessed. The New Year's Eve party, remember? Oh, that's right. Oh, it's the highlight of her year. Practically the entire town is invited. Black tie, the works. Every year since I was a little girl. I used to lie in bed and listen to the music and imagine myself dancing with a handsome prince. <laughs> Naturally, I was in a ball gown with a tiara. Dad, I'm giving you a break, but I expect you to be back at work in a half an hour. You look tired. That used to manual labor? He's an attorney, Holly. You better count that silver before he leaves. Boys, play nice. Hi, Doug. Grandpa said you were here. Put out any fires lately? I thought he was a lawyer and a fireman. Dad, you ready to rumble? Yeah, I promised him I'd play football before Mom forces us back to work. How about you? Uh, sure, I'll play. If Doug will. You bet. Dashing through the snow In a one-horse open sleigh all the fields we go, laughing all the way. 
bells of my bell ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a slaying song tonight. Whoa, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Fifteen right there, I need that. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated at my side. Let's go. Horse was lean and lank. Miss Fanny was in the slot. We got into a drifted bank and then we got outside. Whoa, jingle bells. You guys okay? All the way. Come on, you're right. One sorry display of testosterone. Mm -hmm. Great game, though. I mean, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Grown men acting like children. Come on, Neil and Noah, let's get some hot chocolate. This isn't over yet. I'm going home to get out of these clothes. To this family. It's like they've been sucked into the, the cult of Douglas. Martin goes to him for sports picks. Joanna goes to him for recipes. The kids think he's some kind of hero. Who the hell is this guy anyway? Is he for real or what? Well, you were a reporter before you were an editor. Yeah. Why don't you find out? Maybe I should. You think Holly really meant what she said? Oh, Doug. In a game of romance, I have discovered that. What Grant women say and Grant women mean rarely coincides. But if the prize is winning their hearts, then it's a game well worth playing. I like you. Of course, Holly's a much tougher critic than I am. Come on, don't worry about it. Holly's full of surprises. Take care. Thanks, Martin. You bet. That was a great tackle. <laughs> I, uh, I thought you were mad at me. No, no, it was the only way that I could think to get rid of Ted. Here, this is for you. Most valuable player. No, most valuable present. Okay. I've got to get something off my chest. Okay. I know that we're, we're just getting to know each other, but... I know what you're going to say. You do? I feel it, too. There's this incredible bond between us. It's like we've known each other forever. I mean, you, you feel the bond, too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But, um... What? <laughs> um... Doug! Doug! Yeah! Can you pull your car back so we can unload in the driveway? Oh, sure. Wait. Can I see you later? I told my mom that I'd help her. What about tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's good. Do you, do you have a, a pen and paper? <laughs> <laughs> Meet me here at noon. Where is this? It's a surprise. Well, these are for you. Mind if I come in? 
I actually do need to talk to you, but I was on my way out. This isn't going to take long. Okay, come on in. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of sudden, but, uh, well, it's just my way of saying But I'm serious this time. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, very serious. <laughs> uh, listen. When we split up before, I, I still had some things to prove. You know, to myself, to my father. I'm past that now. I want to settle down. I can't think of anybody I'd rather do that with than you. Only you. <sighs> Look. No, no. Take your time. Think about it. I'm just going to sit this right here and help you make your decision. Signatures? Yes, sir. 100% of the tenants have agreed to move out. Great. We'll start the demo after the new year. The first office complex should be ready to lease by summer. Office complex? That's right. Mr. Rhodes has changed his mind about the direction of the redevelopment. I can get a better return on an industrial park than on low-income housing. But you told the tenants. Exactly what I was instructed to tell them. They'll sue. They'll lose. Either way, I'll get a bigger payday. And so will the firm. These are people's lives we're talking about. No, this is business we're talking about. We're not finished here, Hughes. Maybe you're not. You're doing great. OK, I'm forward. <laughs> I have faith in you. You are fantastic. Thank you. 
I don't think I'll be joining the NHL anytime soon. You look like a pro, though. Just don't ask me to lift you above my head, okay? Okay, just hold hands, all right? Yeah. Oh, it's easy. Yeah, right. Well, if we fall, we both fall, all right? So you have to trust each other, all right? Talking about skating, right? <laughs> what else? All right. All right, here we go. You think pets should be A, in the yard, or B, on the furniture? <laughs> A and B. Pizza? Pepperoni. Thanks. Type, frequency, or duration? <laughs> we'll get back to that later. Yeah, let's get back to that later. <clears throat> Vacations. Warm. Kids. Lots. Do you believe in UFOs? No. God? Yes. Monogamy? Yes. Secrets? Yeah. What? Do you believe in keeping secrets? Yeah. No, no, no. Not, not between each other. Not between... You know what I mean. Good, because after what I've been through with Ted, it would be impossible for me to fall for someone who wasn't completely honest. Impossible? Yep. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do. Do you remember what I told you about imagining myself dancing at New Year's Eve? You mean with your prince? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was uh, wondering if, if you weren't busy tomorrow night. I'd love to. Okay. Sorry to bother you, but I'm not quite certain I have the right address. Does uh, Douglas Furwood live here? No. Uh, not upstairs? No, Ryan uses upstairs. Well, I'm confused then. Uh, Dark-haired fella, attractive in kind of a scruffy way, uh, drives a BMW? Well, that sounds like Hughes, but I... Lawyer, right? With, uh, oh, what's the name of that firm? Uh, he's with uh, Winslow Summers and Lane. Why don't you go knock on his door? I think he's uh, home and... No, no, no. I don't want to bother him. I probably have the wrong address anyway. Um, thank you. Anyway.
I was just thinking about you. Likewise. I was wondering what you were wearing. Oh, is this going to be one of those phone calls? <laughs> it could be. I actually just wanted to hear your voice. Are you there? <sighs> Listen, Holly, there's something that I, that I haven't talked to you about. Okay. Uh, but I'd rather do it in person. Tomorrow night? Yeah, we can talk about it tomorrow night. Which uh, gets us back to what you're wearing. Finally. <laughs> no, to the party. Do you have a tuxedo? You. That's good. I want to see him, too. Do you know what Rhodes is planning to do with that property? What's the difference? The difference is, is that you lied to those people. You swindled them out of their homes. We paid. And that makes it all right. Oh, come on, Hughes. You're about to be made a partner here. <laughs> we have busted our butts for years, and it's finally paying off. You are this close to a corner office, pal. And you will be certifiable if you throw this all away for some bogus crisis of conscience. Completely certifiable! <laughs> Excuse me. Was that Ryan Hughes? Yes, it was. Who are you? Oh, I'm Ted Powell, editor of the Banner Chronicle. Oh. And you are? Um, Russell Parker. Oh, right. I have you on my list as well. We're doing a piece on uh, up-and-coming attorneys. Young Turks on the legal scene, that sort of thing. Oh, really? Yes, I'd love to be able to talk to you if I could. Oh, absolutely. Step this way. Um, you know, you, you might want to wait before you include Hughes in that article, though. Don't why is that? Well, he's in with a senior partner right now. Committing professional suicide. Why? Off the record? Sure. I think he snapped his wrapper. Really? Oh, yeah. Sad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice cologne. Oh, thank you. Come in. Hi, sweetheart. You know, I'm so glad that your mom insisted that you dress here. It just reminds me of all the old times. Mm, they smell good. <sighs> Dad? Mm hmm Ted proposed to me. <laughs> Did you accept? There was a time that I really loved him, but... You're not so sure anymore, right? Mrs. Kaiser Doug. We think alike, Doug and I. He appreciates my work, he loves kids. He makes me look at the world through fresh eyes, like when I was a little girl, and nothing was impossible. I feel like I've known him my entire life. Actually, we haven't known each other quite that long. <laughs> well, I've only known him a couple of days myself, but... I have a good feeling about him. I know what do I know, right? But from everything I've seen, I think he may just be the one you've been waiting for. Your eyes. Okay, 
you kidding? It's ruined! And so is my entire New Year's Eve! No, it isn't. We'll find you something to wear. Oh. Uh, let me go look in my closet. Go. Oh, great. Uh, Mother-in-law couture. Cal, why don't you wear this one? But that's your dress. I'll find something in Mom's closet. You would do that? For me? It's not a kidney. It's just a dress. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, uh, sorry. Now what? I have been a selfish idiot. What are you talking about? Ever since Christmas Day, I could see how much you liked Doug. And still, I did everything in my power to discourage you, to get you back with Ted. Because I thought Ted could help Ian's career, and I didn't think of you. It's fine. Here, take the dress. You deserve to be with somebody you love. And you deserve to get out of that dress. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about the dress. I'm not. It's made me realize how lucky I am to be a part of this family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. She got that from a ruined dress? You got a funny way of just showing up. Well, I was on my way to a party, saw the ice, I couldn't resist. Hey, aren't you supposed to be going to the Grants tonight? I was. What? Look, if I go over there, I'm just gonna get thrown out. Thrown out? Why? Oh, uh, don't tell me. I tried. I tried. I was gonna tell her tonight, but... But what? Look, she said that she could never fall for a guy who's lied to her. And I've lied to her. So that's it. It's done. Too late. She's already falling for you, Brian. You've got to tell her everything. Right now, tonight. There's not much time left. What do you mean there's not much time left? Your hearts are both ready. Trust that. Go to her. Set the record straight. Don't let the moment escape you, Ryan. Or you may regret it forever. Come on, we have a party to attend. You look great. Thank you. I always wanted a sister whose clothes I could borrow. <laughs> so, uh, when's that coming? He should be on his way. Okay, great. Uh, see you downstairs? Yeah. Oh, you read my mind. How about, uh, yeah, save me a trip. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. So, you girls on your own tonight? My husband got the flu, so he offered to watch the kids. So I am enjoying my night of freedom. Freedom! I can see that. Although, be careful what you wish for. My fiance and I broke up over Christmas. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, it's all right. Champagne is certainly helping me through my grief. <laughs> <laughs> it does tend to do that, doesn't it? Listen, you guys seen Holly? She's in the house, okay. waiting for the Christmas tree guy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> You remember last night I said I had to talk to you? Yes. Holly, I haven't been completely honest with you. Oh, there you are. Happy New Year, Doc. How you doing? Happy New Year, Martin. It'll be a good one. Settler. 
just came in through the back here. I'll try to cut him off, but they're right behind me. Ted, please calm down. Look, it's my fault. I shouldn't have encouraged you like that. You'll be glad you did when you heard what I found out. Holly, whether you and I are meant to be or not, there are some things you need to know about this guy. What's everyone doing in here? Exposing Douglas Furwood for what he is. A fraud and a liar. What are you talking about? Well, for starters, why don't you tell us what your real name is? Ryan Hughes. Ryan Hughes? The same Ryan Hughes that Winslow Summers and Lane fired today. That's not true. I wasn't fired. I quit. Apparently, there was a question of ethics. It wasn't my ethics. It was theirs. Uh, listen, man, don't twist things around. Am I? Whose idea displaced hundreds of low-income families? It was my idea, but I'm not the one... In one week, he went from a high six-figure income to volunteering at a Christmas tree lot. Douglas Fir would. Get it? All that business about being a firefighter is... Uh... I checked into that, Mark. That's another one of his lies. I, I made up the firefighter story. Honey, you... why would you do that? Because you guys were asking me all sorts of questions, and I... I didn't know Doug. I mean, Ryan, and... And what, honey? I don't know what to say. I... Are you two dating? He was my Christmas present, okay? Lord, you've been dating a Christmas present? Yes. No, I mean, there's more, there's more to it than that. Of course there is. There's a lot more to it than that. What are you trying to prove? I'm just trying to protect her from you. Stop that. Is this some kind of joke to you? This is no joke. I saw you at the shelter on the night of Christmas Eve. You overheard me talking to Santa. I couldn't take my eyes off him. I overheard you talking to Nick, and there was just something about you that made me think that... that I had known you for a long time. He asked me to show up at your house, I immediately agreed. I mean, this is the most irrational thing I've ever done in my life. But it felt right. You must have thought I was pathetic. You know that's not true. I don't need you or your pity. Come on, Mom, let's get back to our guests. I don't think I can help you with this one. He's the one who was able to get Sheila Denny's children back to her. Ladies and gentlemen, 
gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Holly, he is a good man. And he believes in many of the same things you do. We have to make a decision. It's nearly midnight. The moment's about to pass. But before it does, take this. Ryan is there. Now, most of you all know that uh, Holly and I have been seeing each other for quite a while now. And please, don't stop believing. And uh, I've yet, been fortune over the last remember, of, uh, the end of the 20th year, time time with my two hearts Business. are ready. And uh, Rocky Road, actually, for been a bit of a roller coaster ride, but uh, through it all, I've never stopped loving you. Oh. Wow. Now, I understand your nonprofit work, even though you don't make much money at it. <laughs> I will cherish you with all of my being. I would like to make tonight not just the start of a new year, but the start of a whole new life, together. Holly. Will you marry me? about these words and what they meant. And I told you I didn't know. What I do know, finally. Do you remember when we first met? I was 13. And you offered to help my little sister. Darcy. Because she was afraid. And you introduced her to Santa. When did you figure it out? I'm not exactly sure. There was just something so familiar about you at the tree lot. I was thinking about that. I don't remember seeing you at the tree lot. <laughs> I guess you don't recognize me without my 99 cent beer. That was you? Not the most brilliant disguise in the world, but um, I was happy I had it when I heard you dictating that letter. You heard that? And I deserved it. I wanted her to hear how you felt. how unsatisfying my life had become. How do you feel now? Much better. Much better since I left the law firm and met you. You know, I always wished that I would meet the right guy and he would immediately set my heart on fire. And? I just never thought that, that guy would be my Christmas present.
You know, it might be difficult to exchange without a receipt. That's okay. I think I'll keep you. Oh, ho, ho. 